everybody. It's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a used uh, 12 by 12 inch canvas. What I did is uh, all the drippings from the other day when I did a painting I just put as a base coat and I've let it dry. Today what I'm going to do is kind of an experiment day here at D&D Art Gallery. I'm going to just do a swipe down at the bottom. I'm going to do some blowout here and more towards the upper middle. And I might even do some balloon kisses. We'll just see how it goes, but this is all experiment. Um, my paint today are all Blicks. And I have the Blick Bright Red. I have the Blick Primary Blue. I have the Blick Violet. and the Blick Green Oxide. And the last one is Blick Primary Yellow. And these paints are all mixed, two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Um, and then I did have a little bit of 70-30 of Elmer's Glue All Water Mixture. I added about a teaspoon of that into each paint. I found, not that I like using the glue that much, but I found when you're trying to do a swipe and maybe get some cells, um, the glue just seems to help the cells hold their shape. My swipe today is just uh, Amsterdam Titanium White, but I did add about two drops of the Boom Booster to that, and I probably will get some cells when I go to swipe. So what I'm going to do is just lay my colors down here. Not really in any particular order, but uh, just get started with that. And I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know I did. So really, I didn't add any water to these paints other than the 70-30 uh, the glue water mixture, the little bit that I did add in there. And this is just all experiment. I thought I would try on a used canvas because if this turns out favorable, I want to do it on a bigger canvas. Just uh, combining a couple different methods of swipes here today. Let me show you consistency while I have it here. This leaves a little trace. Not really too thin, not too thick. And I might as well just keep on a layer in here. This is the green oxide. When I first started out painting, I used a lot of glue and water mixture, and I found that if I didn't add GAC 800, which prevents cracking and crazing, I would get some cracking. And I think it was, I had my paint too thick on my canvas, and for some reason with the glue, it didn't, it didn't dry properly, and it caused the cracking. So I kind of shied away from using glue. Although there is uh, one technique that I do called cupping and covering that calls for glue, I believe. 
or it's a very thick, I'll say that it's a very thick mixture that the pouring medium, I think it's uh, Floetrol and let's see if I can remember it. Floetrol and Mod Podge, that's what it is, Mod, Mod Podge, very thick. And that's because you do a lot of uh, balloon kisses and balloon rolls with that type pour. It is a fun pour to do. It's a little bit difficult, but it's a challenge. just about done here with laying these paints down I'm not gonna worry about my edges today I can work with those off camera and I did just mix these paints up so I wouldn't be surprised if I do have some air bubbles in here Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more here in the middle. Just to get it covered good. Okay. I think I'll do a quick torch here before I start my swipe. I'm going to put my swipe color right down the middle here, I think, today. Normally I would just dip my card in it, but I'm just going to put it up here and just swipe down. And I am going to use cards today. My little plastic cards that I've cut up. Different widths. So I'll just start And I do cover my edges sometimes with my cards. And wipe it off in between swipes. What you can do is just tap your card on the edge of your painting like this and it covers the edge. Looks like I am getting some cells up there. Where I think I've missed, I'm just going to go back over it a little bit. Let's see if I have a little thinner card here, and I do. Just 
tap the sides here with my little card. Okay, and now I'm going to just do a little bit of tilting, I think. And that did turn out pretty cute. Those cells look very cute. Okay. And I think now I am going to just use my um, little leaf blower and blow this area. See what kind of uh, effect I get with that. I may take the attachment off here. Blowing this paint around here. Make sure all the canvas is covered. I'm going to do a little bit of blowing down here where this white is also move that around a little bit. And move it back down a little. Okay, that looks pretty nice. And I think I'm going to do a torch. see a few spots where I have to fill in here. And I do see something here that doesn't belong. Take that out right away. Okay. And now I think I might do some balloon kisses. Now this balloon that I'm first starting to use has water in it. See how this goes. And I can tell I have a little bit of glue in there because it is, it's firming that up. Very pretty. You see how you can transfer your color if you want. You do a dip and then you can 
dip it elsewhere. If it, if when you do your dip, your paint seems to fill back in quite a bit, you can wait 20, 25 minutes and come back. That allows your paint to dry a little bit. And it'll make your doing your little balloon kisses a little bit easier. But I am liking the effects I'm getting here. I'm going to do some more balloon kisses here at the top. Sometimes you can just take your finger and you can make a little stem. Just give the eye a little something extra to look at. There is still quite a bit of paint up at the top, but that's okay. I am really liking this little painting. Okay, I think I'll give it another torch and then I'll get you down for a close up. Maybe I'll do just a few more balloon kisses down in this area here. Yeah. Very pretty. And get you down you can tell me what you think okay but everybody let's go down for a close-up and I think composition wise this would be the top and down to the bottom so let's start here at the upper left hand corner as you can see that boom booster really did give me quite a few cells there And I think just using that little bit of glue mixture did, did leave those cells round like that. And that's what I was looking for. Here's some of those balloon kisses that I did. Very bright painting. Again, this is a 12 by 12. Down to the bottom left-hand corner. Let's go up the middle here. Again, many more balloon kisses. Many more little cells here, cells within cells. And this is the upper right hand corner here. Just some of these cells are so cute. More balloon kisses. 
and this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it, ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would help my channel grow and I would truly appreciate it. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.